All right, so here we are. We're doing a mock-up of the drainage system we're going to use to install here. So on this project here, we're going to use the mirror drain. That's just because we got a whole bunch of dirt, and we might as well use all the dirt instead of trying to get rid of it. It's kind of hard to get rid of dirt right now out here in California. So we got the perforated pipe here, and this is the SDR35 pipe here. And this is what we use. We don't use that black corrugated pipe. At least it's the commercial grade. We have a project coming up where we got to use some 6 and 12 inch commercial grade corrugated pipe. I think it's called HDPE. But yeah, you guys probably know our retaining wall drainage system. We normally have the fabric come up, burrito wrap it, but with this case we have so much dirt on site, we're just going to use all the dirt that we can so that dirt will push up against here and the water in it will, in theory, hit this and trickle down. Behind it has some channels here. You can see there. So that water is going to come down. We're going to put a piece of fabric under the pipe, some drain rock on top of the pipe, and we're going to, um, and that'll be in case. I'll show a little picture of that. And this is a unique uh, French drain because I'm able to walk behind the retaining wall. Most of them, the dirt is probably cut about right here and there's no really room to really walk behind it. So you guys get to see our footing here, which was about five to seven feet wide, depending. Right in here, we got a little keyway. But again, we're just gonna be pushing dirt here, compacting the dirt. And I'm gonna come back with another video explaining everything more in detail, but I just want to get this video out here. And this is us mocking up the drainage system for the French strain for this retaining wall. So all our fittings for our retaining walls are sanitation or sweet elbows, as you can see here. And then we have a, uh, a sweet tea, you can see here. So this allows, if you have a clog or something gets stuck in here, the fish tape or whatever you use to uh, get it out and steady, it kind of has that roundness to it, so it kind of pushes through it. This is what sewers use as well. So I always try to go a step and beyond on what we use. This SDR35 pipe, solid and perforated. The pipe stay, you can see that something is made in America. So you can see, um, this is what it looks like. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> and this is important for any retaining wall. Any, any retaining wall, you have to have a drainage system. We've been getting a lot of calls and estimates lately for retaining walls and most of them fell for no drainage system. <laughs> 